the managing director illegally engineered the resignation of two board members from the board to accommodate the minister's directive. And this cost the fund, Uganda shillings, 687,257,226 um, shillings. Mr. Biarugaba, the managing director, and Mr. Stevens Mwanje, the director of finance, ought to have advised the minister that the only way the board could be reconstituted was if a vacancy appeared on the board through section 3, subsection 3, and subsection 4 of the Act. That they did not do this caused the fund a loss of the amount I have mentioned, and our directive is that they should jointly refund the money paid to the two board members who resigned from the board on their own volition. We also discovered a financial loss of 400 of 4.4 billion shillings, where Mr. Richard Biarugaba and the director for finance, Mr. Stevens Mwanje, caused a financial loss, the financial loss, when they authorized irregular payments to staff who exited under voluntary early retirement, an exit package not backed by law and outside the provisions of Section 87 of the Employment Act and Section 23.12 of the NSSF Human Resources Policy Manual of 2017. We direct that both Mr. Biarugaba and the Director for Finance, Mr. Stevens Mwanje, should jointly refund this money. We do not recommend persecution, but we recommend that he refunds the money. And if he does not refund the money, then he will be persecuted. If he does not refund the money. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.